a loss for the New Mexico literary community this evening. Max Evans, who wrote more than a dozen books and left his mark on Hollywood, has died. I was four years old when I started working with horses, I actually riding them and following cows. We sat down with Max Evans a decade ago as he reflected on his life as a writer and before that, a real cowboy growing up in northeast New Mexico. They didn't have any mail. No TV, no radio, no electric lights, nothing. So they had to entertain themselves. And, and that's what I grew up with, was admiring and enjoying their camaraderie. Evans' most celebrated work was The Rounders, published back in 1960, a comic take on the lives of real cowboys that was the lonesome dove of its day. The Rounders was made into a hit movie starring Henry Fonda and Glenn Ford. Evans went on to write more than 15 novels, including The High Low Country, made into a movie in 1998 starring Woody Harrelson. This may be the best part of it. Evans' wife, Pat, was with him every step of the way. She even helped him type The Rounders, the book that changed their lives. I even love it myself. I, some places I just type, I just get so tickled I couldn't hardly type. You know, it really, uh, it really is a kind of a funny book. When we sat down with Evans on the 50th anniversary of The Rounders, he looked back on his career with the aw shucks sensibility of a real cowboy. In the first place, you're lucky to ever get run down, and then you're even luckier if you sell the sucker and it's published. <laughs> so I guess we're just working off of luck here. But Evan's biggest success was just part of a long, full life of creating. I never dreamed that it would, it would just take off and live 50 years. I never dreamed I'd live 50 years, for God's sake. I never dreamed it. Evans had been in the hospice at the VA for weeks after a bad fall. His wife, Pat, tells News 13 that a service will be planned for Evans sometime after the pandemic. He would have been 96 on Saturday.